another deadly disease. According to a statement from the American Heart Association, Chagas disease has been spreading from Central and South America to the U.S. Chagas disease is spread by a bug called the triatamine bug, also known as the kissing bug, which carries a parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi. According to the CDC, the kissing bug gets infected by biting an infected animal or person. The disease spreads to people when an infected bug bites humans around the eyes or mouth, breaking into the skin. Initial symptoms of Chagas disease include fever, body aches, headaches, rashes, and more. However, the American Heart Association released a warning saying around 60 to 70 percent of people do not develop any symptoms of the disease. According to the CDC, the infection may result in cardiac complications or intestinal complications for some. The disease can only be treated with anti-trypanosomal medication. It also does not spread from person to person or contact with animals. The American Heart Association released a statement to increase global awareness of the disease in hopes of detecting the disease at an early stage. More disease stories. Here's how these annoying little critters make you sick. According to Scientific American, mosquitoes are one of the deadliest animals in the world to humans. The diseases they transmit kill hundreds of thousands of people each year. Here's how they transmit viruses and disease to people. Female mosquitoes only bite people when they require blood to feed their eggs. They use six needle-like parts that scientists refer to as stylets to suck blood. The maxillae on mosquitoes are equipped with saw-like teeth to cut through skin. The mandibles hold tissue apart while the labrum digs underneath the skin in search of blood to extract. The hypopharynx injects saliva into blood vessels and delivers chemicals to keep the blood flowing. Mosquito saliva makes blood vessels dilate, blocks an immune response, and lubricates the proboscis. This results in itchy welts and can also transfer dangerous viruses such as Zika and the West Nile virus. Texas, Colorado, Utah, Ohio, and Indiana have all been experiencing outbreaks of the West Nile virus. Meanwhile, the number of mosquitoes carrying the virus seem to be growing as well. About 1 in 150 people who are infected with the West Nile virus develop severe illness that affects the central nervous system. Of these people, about 1 in 10 die. So how do we combat this problem? Some solutions are to stay away from standing water sources, use mosquito larvicide, and to treat your yards with mosquito spray, or just live your life in a bubble suit. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome virus has infected at least three people in South Korea. A disease with a fatality rate of 30 to 40 percent has infected three people in South Korea after one man was diagnosed with the virus after a trip to Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. South Korean officials on Thursday confirmed the country's third case of Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, also known as MERS. The MERS virus, a SARS-like respiratory virus, may have originated in bats. Both bats and camels are thought to be carriers of the virus. Humans may pick up the virus by inhaling particles in the air or through self-inoculation. Once inside the body, MERS targets cells in the lungs. Enzyme receptors called DPP-4, located on cells deep in the lungs, are thought to act as virus receptors. The receptors are located in 20 percent of the lung's epithelial cells. Once the receptors and the virus bind, MERS fuses with the host cell membrane and enters the cell. The virus has an incubation period of up to 14 days. Bats, various primates, and many domestic animals have the same enzymes in their lungs, which means that the virus could easily jump between different mammals. A South Korean man diagnosed with the disease after returning from a trip to the Middle East passed the disease on to his wife and another patient. 64 others have been quarantined. The MERS virus does not transmit easily between humans, and there are existing uncertainties about how it's actually transmitted between humans. There is no cure for the virus yet. Flesh-eating virus plagues Australia. Doctors are scrambling to figure out how cases of a nasty skin-eating disease are on the rise down under. Citing experts, the BBC reports Australian cases of Beruli ulcer have increased 400 percent since 2014. And worryingly, medical experts do not know how to explain or stop its spread. The disease can cut to the bone, spreading toxins that eradicate skin, blood vessels, and fat. This is what causes the ulcer to form. The World Health Organization says they don't know how it spreads or how to stop it. Mycobacterium ulcerans, the bacteria in the disease, comes from the same family as leprosy and tuberculosis. Its origin is unknown, but doctors writing in the Medical Journal of Australia speculate it may come from the environment, soil, or could even be carried by mosquitoes. 
The infection is more common in Africa, but cases have been on the rise in Victoria, Australia since 2013. The World Health Organization says early detection and antibiotic treatment are key to dealing with Borrelli ulcer. The disease is commonly treated with a different combination of antibiotics, and where necessary, surgical techniques such as skin grafting. The BBC reports health authorities have spent more than 750,000 US dollars combating the disease and raising awareness of it. But doctors writing in the Aussie Medical Journal are calling on Australia to do more, asking officials to immediately fund research into combating the disease. Millions of bacteria-infected mosquitoes to be released in Fresno. The life sciences arm of Google's parent company Alphabet plans to release 20 million bacteria-infected mosquitoes in Fresno, California, in hopes this will wipe out the mosquito population that could potentially be carrying the Zika virus. The company uses larval-rearing robots to raise Aedes aegypti mosquitoes with the naturally occurring Wolbachia bacteria. The mosquitoes are then separated into females and males to ensure only the males are released. When the infected males mate with female mosquitoes, any eggs produced will not be able to hatch, thus eliminating the wild Aedes aegypti mosquito population. About one million infected male mosquitoes will be released in Fresno over a 20-week period. The mosquitoes will be released by specially designed vans in two 300-acre neighborhoods. Other technology companies in the U.S., including Microsoft, are also developing automated and robotic ways to improve the way we can combat mosquitoes. Not because he was attacked by crabs. A New Jersey man who went crabbing last week in a river has been infected with flesh-eating bacteria and is now on the verge of losing all his limbs. 60-year-old Millville resident Angel Perez was in the Maurice River fishing for some crab before sunrise one day. But the day after he headed home with a fresh haul of crabs, his right leg became swollen, then turned red and broke out in blisters. A few hours later, all of his limbs turned raw and red. He continued to break out in blisters with marks all over his body. Perez's family said he had developed vibrio necrotizing fasciitis, a flesh-eating bacteria that can be contracted in salty water, especially during the summertime. According to Prez's family, the infection has already spread from his feet all the way up above his kneecap, and his forearms are black in color. His limbs are covered in blisters, cuts, and sores. Perez is currently in ICU, and doctors are waiting to see if he responds to antibiotics before they consider amputating at least three limbs or potentially all of them. The family also mentioned that another family member had recently gone into the same river and now has a rash and swelling on her right leg. And a friend of Perez, who also goes fishing there, is now suffering from a baseball-sized swelling in his elbow. New Jersey's advanced media says that the chance of getting the disease is rare, but the bacteria in the water can enter through a scratch or a scar. Local and state health officials told the media that they're aware of Perez's situation, but are not aware of any potential dangers from the waters. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection said the flesh-eating bacteria that Perez had been contracted with is not common in the waters, while Cumberland County Health Department said the bacteria exists regularly in the waters, especially when the water is warm.